So, I am very annoying. I bothered our nurse. <laughs> Hey everyone, we are back. So many things going on this week. We got an update for you all. Yeah, sorry about all the posts. Like, we're trying to keep you guys in the loop as we learn about uh, new updates. We're posting them also. So that way it kind of gives you an idea of like how long you have to wait in between each update or how fast you get updates. But yeah, it's crazy. So, uh, what, what do we... What do we find out today? What's the update? So, I am very annoying. I bothered our nurse. <laughs> and basically, we got our MET date. So, it's it's very confusing because, so, he doesn't know yet. It's confusing because she says, um, here's the date. But then, as the file name on the calendar, it says tentative date. Or, actually, no, no, sorry. I think that means tentative calendar because of how it is. So, I'll explain. So, any guesses when our transfer date is? It's in December. December? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'm going to guess because we did these calculations yesterday, the week before Christmas. Um, let me check. <laughs> no, two, so, well, kind of. December 11th, which is Friday. So, like two weeks before Christmas. Okay, cool. Um, so, the nurse said. We have a date for your embryo transfer. It's set for December 11th. And then she attached a calendar, which I'll go over with you soon. She also says, I saw your surgery date for the 18th, so please continue your pills until the day of surgery. So if my period starts on the 9th, then I will be on birth control for like a week-ish, a little over a week. Thank goodness, I thought I was gonna be like three weeks, but we'll see, you know. Things can change depending on how my body reacts. Again. Um, and then she says, you'll need to schedule a suppression check, ultrasound, uh, three to five days after my last birth control pill, or between the first and third day of bleeding. From there, they'll confirm when it's okay for me to start estrace, which is the estrogen pill. Uh, she also mentioned that we can order our pills whenever. So after this, if you want to get online, order our pill and make sure that the preauthorization is complete and stuff. Yeah, so can you just review uh, basically the, the timeline going forward from the beginning? Because I'm kind of confused. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, basically, okay, we're looking at November. I'm, according to the app that I'm using, the period tracker app, my period is supposed to start on the 9th. Um, with that being said, I'm supposed to start birth control the second day of my period, so that's the 10th, November 10th. And then my surgery is... Um, scheduled for November 18th, so that's eight days of birth control. Okay, so you're going to take birth control from the second day after your period starts up until the day of your surgery, and then you're going to you're going to do the polyp removal surgery. Which is that 18th, the thing on the 18th. Okay, and then what? And then um, from there, I'm going to have appointments to check on my body levels to see if I should start the estrogen Okay. Okay. And um, and all of that is outlined for you on a calendar for November and a calendar for December. I said I would just go over this. I was reading all this on my email. Uh, okay. Well, I was very confused, so I, I didn't know. Okay. Well, now we'll go over what's on the uh, calendar. So, take last birth control pill on the 18th, which is the day of my surgery. And then it says, expect menstrual cycle after starting pills, which is, which, yeah happens um and then basically schedule ultrasound so those are the monitoring appointments and then tentatively begin the estrogen on november 23rd and then basically within that period um yeah within that period sorry my handshake Within that period, they're going to make me write down how many um, pills I'm supposed to take and how many, like, the amount of progesterone and oil stuff. That's why it's all blank. And then on December 5th, if I need to, they said to do a blood test and an ultrasound. 
Oh, okay, got it. So November, basically, it's just estrogen pills. And then December is when I will start the uh, progesterone in oil injections and the progesterone vaginal pills for one, two, three, four, five days. For five days. So basically, it's only five days of shots for now. Cool. Yeah. And then embryo transfer December 11th. And then December 20th, pregnancy test, if positive, continue all medications. How do you feel? That's great. Glad we got that wrapped up and settled in the book so we can prepare and start planning, which is nice. All right, guys. So there you go. We got our FET date. We got our FET schedule calendar. I didn't know we were getting a whole calendar. That's great. Me neither. Um, I was very confused, but after seeing the calendar, it makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Uh, kind of what's going on. So we'll try and insert like a screenshot or something. All right. Talk to you guys later. <laughs> Bye.